I'm talking quietly because it's about 7.30 a.m. right now. We're just getting ready to check out of our hotel and we're gonna do something fun today. I'll let you know in just a second what it is. Let's get checked out first. Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? So we just checked out of our hotel and we're getting ready to go to Doi Inthanon. We're pretty excited because it is the highest point in all of Thailand. We're just waiting on Mike, he's in 7-Eleven. We're gonna grab some Thai milk tea and then get on the road. to Doi Insanon. We've been driving for about an hour now. We're coming up on a little checkpoint called Tom Tong. We don't need any gas, which is nice. We're in a pretty fuel efficient vehicle. We've got about an hour, maybe hour 15 minutes left of driving before we get to the national park. And the sun is finally breaking through, so that's very exciting. Hopefully we'll have some good weather today. starting to see signs for the national park so that's pretty exciting we're getting close <laughs> drove through. There was a guard there, but he didn't really acknowledge us, right? Yeah, we gave him a thumbs up with like a shruggy <laughs> shoulders and he just nodded. Yeah, so, so I think we're good. Uh, we will have to pay an entrance fee once we get to the second checkpoint. It's 300 baht per person plus a 20 baht fee for the car. Actually, it's 20 baht for a scooter. It might be more for a car. Uh, so we'll have to figure that out, but we brought plenty of cash, so that shouldn't be an issue. Overall, we're looking at about six to 700 baht for an entrance fee. So a little bit pricey, but I think that it will be worth it. Morning. We still had kind of a late start. I think we finally got on the road around 8 maybe. <laughs> we just got into the National Park. It's almost 10 o'clock and it does look like the tour buses started rolling through already. We're gonna try and get to the summit as soon as possible and hopefully beat some of that tour bus crowd. Let's go to the summit. second checkpoint and we are very close to the summit. We've got under 10 kilometers to go now. The sun is peeking through so that's a good sign. It is definitely cloudy so I'm interested to see if we can actually see anything up there but we will find out very soon. A lot of people made this trip on a scooter. That's definitely something that we considered. We did rent a scooter when we were in Pi, but with it being a two hour drive, we felt like that was a long time to be on a scooter. We also have all of our backpacks because we forgot that we were checking out today. So <laughs> it was actually a happy accident that we got the car. How much did we pay for it? It cost 1200 baht. We did have to pay a 3000 baht deposit and that's for 24 hours. Uh, but we'll get that back obviously as long as we don't wreck the car. <laughs> We still got a little bit more to go. There are a ton of people here. Holy cow. Yeah. 
we just took a picture by the highest spot in Thailand sign, but it's kind of funny because there are definitely higher spots in Thailand. <laughs> We're about to go to them right now. trail that's at the summit of Doi Antanon and it's a little anticlimactic the surrounding nature is really really beautiful but we haven't really found like a summit summit other than the sign <laughs> If you're planning on visiting Doi Anthanon, definitely plan on arriving early. We unfortunately got here too late and there are a lot of people here. Just something to be aware of. I would definitely try and come right when the park opens if possible. I believe the park opens at 5.30 in the morning. You can also catch the sunrise if you do that, which is pretty amazing. But yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna go check out some of the nature trails. trail is beautiful. It's so pretty. favorite things in nature is when you've got tons of moss growing on trees. We've experienced this in a lot of places in the Pacific Northwest and coming here it's just covered in moss and it is absolutely stunning. I'm I'm in forest heaven right now. <laughs> yeah it's, it's beautiful. It's really really pretty. Very mossy, very I don't know it just feels, Lush. feels magical. Yeah. Yeah it does. Lots of things in Thailand feel magical we're starting to realize. <laughs> There's a lot of really interesting wildlife that lives on the Ong Ka Nature Trail. One of the most unique one that I've never heard of is the moon rat. I have no idea what that is. It just looks like a scruffy little rat, but it sounds pretty cute. They've also got a variety of reptiles, amphibians. There's a bunch of different tree frogs and then also the Himalayan newt, which is pretty cool. The other interesting thing about this park is the Doi Anthanon mountain range is actually the start of the Himalayan mountain range, which is something that we learned today. So pretty neat. I don't know if we'll ever make it to Nepal, but we certainly hope to, so we're getting a little taste of it right now. glad that we stopped by here. Make sure to stop at this trail. It's very close to the summit. You can park in the summit parking lot, walk over here. It'll take you about 15 minutes to get through. So not very long at all. Highly, highly worth coming to visit. to go to the two chetties now this is the thing that i've been looking the most forward to what about you yeah me too probably i didn't know too much about the rest of this park i just knew it was the tallest point in thailand and that it had this beautiful botanical garden at the top mm -hmm. yeah it should be really pretty i'm very excited i'm anxious to see how many people are up there because it's about 12 o'clock it's thankfully a beautiful day the clouds have mostly cleared although there are still some in the sky but the sun is out so that's the best part the two chetties which is a botanical garden and it's got two huge pagodas up here near the summit of Doi Intanon. There is a ticket entrance fee that you have to pay. It's 100 baht per person. So we just grabbed our tickets and even though it seems like there's parking up there, we were silly and parked up there. So we're just going to walk up the hill. He said we wanted to hike anyway, so.
Queen's Chetty and it's pretty remarkable when you consider that they built these two Chetties, the Queen and the King in front of us on the top of the highest mountain in Thailand. It's pretty amazing. Super impressive. We're just enjoying the garden for now. We're gonna go inside and check it out. cloudy when it's so cloudy you have to wear your sunglasses. Place is stunning. There's so many different flowers. There's these huge fields of hydrangeas. You've got the two chetties kind of in the distance. The clouds are rolling in on one side and the sun's shining on another. I could just sit here all day. overlook next to the King's Chetty and like we said it's pretty cloudy we are getting some clearing though so that we can see the land beneath and it is such a beautiful view when we can see it but regardless of the clouds it's still a really really amazing beautiful property <music> we got here when we did and saw what we could when we did because now the clouds are rolling back in one of the things I really really think spectacular about this place is you can see these kind of mosaics like they're almost like mosaic relief carvings or something but every single one of them is different they all have different details they're all featuring different animals and characters and deities and they're all just so intricately done and so beautiful every single one is a new one to look at are starting to roll in so this is our cue to go let's go grab some food didn't feel like that big of a hill on the way down but of course they never do so luckily we're almost at the car but thankfully it has not just yet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip the uh, Royal Project, unfortunately, which is the Botanical Gardens. It's about a mile and a half away from the park headquarters. The reason we're gonna skip it is we're a bit on a time crunch. We've only got the car until 7 p.m. today and it's about two o'clock right now. There's a couple of other sites that we wanna see. Uh, we wanna check out the waterfalls before we head out. We're just gonna do that really, really quickly. Grab some lunch, it'll be the first time we've eaten today. We are disappointed we're not gonna see the Royal Project. It sounds like a really beautiful botanical garden if that's your thing, but for us today, it just doesn't really make sense so any last words what'd you think I thought it was awesome I had a great time even with the clouds it was awesome I had a really great time I'm glad that we came up here I think that's it for now let's go see what food we can find actually no first waterfalls, waterfalls. Chiraton Falls right now. I believe it's the first fall that you encounter when you enter the park. We were going to try and check out a couple of the other ones, uh, but we went too far. So I think this is going to be the one that we see. It's beautiful. I'm excited to go check it out. It's just up those stairs. So let's go do that now.
We're at the base of the falls now, and this is massive. Definitely the biggest waterfall I've ever been to. <laughs> Check it out. We're getting soaked, and we're not any less hungry. So we're going to go back to the car, get some food. Today's been awesome. We've had a really great time. about three o'clock and we've got actually only until six to return our car so it's about a two-hour drive away we want to grab some lunch and then yeah probably call it a night what'd you think oh, I had a great time the waterfall was insane I mm -hmm. thought that the gardens and the chetties were gonna be great but yeah. that waterfall was huge yeah it was really beautiful definitely recommend coming on a weekday if possible and then early is better than kind of midday, really early or after all of the tour buses have left. I know a lot of people will come for sunset, but even that I think is probably less touristy than the main part of the day when everybody is out. a time crunch we got here way later than we had hoped to it said it was going to take us about 30 minutes to get to the lemongrass restaurant that we wanted to go to and it actually took us close to an hour and our car is supposed to be back like right now so <laughs> we're gonna skip lunch dinner we're so hungry at this point who knows and we've got to instead check into our hostel drop off our bags and then get the car back to the rental agency so we've got to do this all quick Last like hour was kind of a mad dash. We had some plans to go get some food, which we're still gonna go do. But At traffic. Five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, for the first time for the day, besides like bananas and snacks from 7-Eleven. Other than that, it was a really fun day. We had a great time at Doi Intanon National Park. That waterfall was awesome. Super, super stoked to see the biggest waterfall I've ever seen. I'm glad the sun showed up for a little bit, but we are starving. We're gonna go turn this car in real quick and find some food. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out and it puts a smile on our face every time we get one new subscriber. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so that was super cool. We just ran into a feller. <laughs> a feller? A feller. We just ran into a feller. <laughs> All right, so we are leaving Doi Inthanot. 